Jason, co-founder of Map Signals here, uh, giving you a little bit of my own intro music. We are coming to you for the best ETFs for September. Unfortunately, our video guy and our lighting, not lighting, our uh, graphics guy is in New Orleans. And unfortunately, he got crushed with everyone else by Hurricane Ida. Thankfully, he's okay. Our thoughts are uh, out there for him and anybody else affected by the storm. So I have to do my own intro. So there you have it. Apologies for the bad playing, but here we are. First and foremost, if you like what you see and what we've done recently with best ETFs, best growth stocks uh, to buy now, best dividend stocks and best stocks to buy now, hit that like and subscribe button. We'd love to continue to get the message out and by all means, leave your comments, good and bad, so we can get better at this. Uh, first and foremost, before I get into the best ETFs, you need to know this video is intended for entertainment purposes only. Uh, this doesn't constitute trading advice. This is just how I and Lucas at Map Signals like to go through and find our best ETFs. So let's just get through it. How do we do that? Before I do, I am going to share my screen here in just a moment, and we are going to show you the results from June, July, and August, because why should you listen to us? What is, you know, our uh, best ETFs? Why, why do you want to hear what we have to say? Well, let me put up on your screen right now, we're going to share the results I'm looking for the button. Apologies. There we go. We got it. So here we go. These are the results. Uh, on May 18th, I came to you on this video and I said uh, we should look at XLF, ITB, XLC, IGV, and ARCG. Five of five trades since them are positive for an average return of 11.5% which is terrific. IGV is up almost 25%. That is juice, people. Terrific. June, the next month, we got four out of five for an average return of 5.4%. And we had one loser here, VDE. It was down 12.5%. No big deal. And for August, it's only been a month, but hey, so far, Four out of five trades of one. It was a choppy month at that. We have mixed returns about up 1.4%. The important thing, people, out of the 15 trades uh, we've looked at, 87% um, are winners. So that, if you ask why you should listen to me, that is why you should listen to me. So how do we do it? First, we head over here to mapsignals.com. This is a beta database that's available to our paying customers very soon. Very first thing we look at is the BMI, the big money index. When big money is flowing into stocks, you can expect markets to ramp higher, like here. When big money is flowing out of stocks, you can expect choppy and volatile markets like this over here. Then it ramps up against higher, you get big market swooping action. So what did we see in July and August? We saw lower BMI. That meant there was selling going on underneath the surface. But if you notice, Look at that. The indexes were going higher. Why is that? That's because the S&P 500, this is the SPY, the S&P 500 tracking index. It's a cap weighted index and the biggest companies out there, Amazon, Facebook, Netflix, Google, uh, Microsoft, some of which I own, those are the ones that were getting all the capital and it was holding up the entire index. So you had that little divergence there. But look what's happened. All of a sudden, buying has rushed back into the market since the uh, 19th of August. All of a sudden, we see the BMI rising. So that's a bullish sign. So then if we want to go look at um, ETF buying and selling, what do we see over here? We see on this day, August 19th, when I told you that big money buying was rushing back in the next day, 42 ETF sells. That was a big washout. You saw a lot of selling leading up to that. And then all of a sudden, these blue spikes over here, we see that buying ramping. So that's a good sign. That's another good way to understand uh, that money is flowing back into the market. So what ETFs are they flowing into? 
unfortunately at map signals we do that hard work for you so we go ahead and we look at the etfs that see big money buying and then we look at the actual stocks that are held into them the constituents held by the etf and we rank them top to bottom so you can see for as of today igv is a top ranked etf uh, but we've already suggested that one. So we got a bunch more for you today. And you look over here, you get your composite score, you get your technical score, and you get your fundamental score. And we go all the way down from strongest to weakest. And at the bottom here was the silver miner. So this is the list that I went shopping in. And let's just get to it. Let's see what we got. Very first ETF this week is the XLRE, the Real Estate Select Sector Spider Fund. We see a lot of this big money buying over the past year, money just flooding into the real estate sector. Let me move that up for you. You see these green signals are the big money buys, and that is really positive strength. So again, we'll look at the stocks that are held within the ETF. And one of the stocks that are held in there is a company named Prologis. It's a real estate company. Again, saw a lot of big money buying this year to date, lifting that stock higher from you know, lows of about 95 to up to 137, which is where it at sat about now. This has been a top 20 stock in the past year. And let's look back over time. Uh, it's a recent top 20 edition. And since it's appeared on our report six times, it's up 20.6%. So we like ETFs that hold great strong stocks. And the next on the list is IVW, the iShares S&P 500 growth ETF. This ETF is focused on growth stocks. You see that big money buying. In March, we got some sell signals, but again, uh, sell signals are something to be worried about when you have something with weak fundamentals and weak health. This ETF holds a bunch of phenomenal stocks. So big money saw that as a buying opportunity. They scooped it up and they've been lifting it ever since. Let's look at one stock that is held in that ETF is Microsoft. I personally own it for full disclosure. Look at this. You got it. Big money buying, rushing into this stock this year alone. It's risen from 200 to almost 300. Uh, Microsoft has a lock on everything. In fact, I'm on a Microsoft device right now, a Surface Book Pro. And this database that we're looking at together was built in Microsoft Azure and sits on Microsoft Azure. They kind of have a lock on everything. Amazing. So check it out. Is it a top 20 stock? Why, yes, it is. Does it have juice? Certainly has juice this year. Again, you know, we're looking at a 50% gain this year, but that's nothing. Let's look at all the times it's appeared on that top 20 report. Like, holy moly, going way back in our back test when this stock was about a $6 stock, it showed up on our top 20 report, a grand total of 77 times. And the stock is up almost 4,900% juice, people. That is held in that ETF. That is another reason we like it. Let's move on to CLOU, the, Clo bleh, the Global X Cloud Computing ETF. Uh, cloud is obviously a hot space. Again, my database is on the cloud. We got a bunch of stuff. Everybody, Dropbox, uh, your iPhotos, your, your music, everything is streaming from the cloud. If you're not on the cloud already, you're headed there. Big money buying this year. Recent big money signal right at the top. That's actually bullish very strong. What kind of stocks does it hold? Well, cloud stocks, right? You might be thinking Dropbox and you'd be right, but it holds a bunch of other stocks that maybe is less intuitive like Netflix. Look at this stock. I think we all know it. We all use it, right? They stream content from the cloud. Uh, they're storing all that media and everything on the cloud. Everybody's streaming everything. Uh, again, you see a sell signal on a top ranked high quality stock, then that is a buy signal. How do we know it's uh, a high quality stock? If we go down here and we look at our technical score is 67, but a fundamental score of almost 71. That is actually quite strong, people. These scores just boil everything down for you really easy. 
We got a sideways choppy chart for the year. It's only appeared as a top 20 way back then in, um, when was that? September 8th of last year, just over a year ago. It's up since then. That was, uh, where was it? Uh, 50702, it's now 575. But let's look at what happens when we explode it out over time. Boom, people, juice. Look at that stairway to heaven. Money just rushing in constantly. What did we see? 52 times on our top 20 report. That's the best of the best being bought by big money, up 4,800%. I mean, those are the types of stocks I want my ETFs to hold. How about you? Next up, you may think I'm a Kathy Woods fan. You know, not necessarily, but every time she's in the news recently, she was Wall Street's darling last year, and then she got pummeled. Uh, a lot of her ETFs saw big selling, big pressure. Um, but when they're ranked strong in terms of fundamentals and the stocks that they hold, it might represent a buying opportunity. And that's what a lot of these valleys have looked like recently for the other ARC stocks that I just showed you uh, on our uh, prior best ETFs video. Let's look at one stock that she holds in that innovations ETF, and that is Square. The little tiny Square payments processor that you can swipe your credit card at street fairs and when you buy funnel cakes and stuff like that. Luke buys a lot of funnel cakes you'll see in the next video. But hey, you got big money sweeping in. And look, when we get sell signals on fundamentally superior stocks, it's actually a buy signal. How do we know it's fundamentally superior? We go down here. Look at that. 54.2 is a little better than average, but it does have growing sales and earnings, which is what we like to see. Now, as far as the top 20 stock, it appeared a couple of times this year, but let's go all the way back. Let's look at the history. This thing hasn't appeared truckloads of times. Starting in uh, 2017 at 32 bucks, it's around 250. That thing has appeared a respectable 12 times. It's up 720% since. Nothing to be disappointed about, right? You love it when those stocks are on the top 20. The next ETF might be a choppy ride, biotech. It's a volatile space, okay? But there's a lot of innovation going on, COVID, cancer treatments, um, tons of new uh, uh, therapies making its way to the market constantly, IBB, holds a bunch of great stocks. Again, we saw some sell signals and volatility this past year, but when it's holding great stocks, you might wanna pay attention as a buying opportunity. If you see sell signals on fundamental weakness, get out of the way. I wouldn't scoop that, but if you feel solid about the fundamentals, then maybe it's a buy. How do we know? Well, buy the stocks that it holds. One of the many stocks held is Regeneron Pharmaceuticals. I own this stock, you should probably know. We saw a bunch of pressure in the beginning of the year, leading it to lows, and then boom, all of a sudden, big money got hit. A bunch of this green flooding in, that stairway to heaven. What does it look like on the top 20? It's recently a top 20 stock. Let's look all the way back. I mean, people. Look at that. Going all the way back to 2000, didn't do anything for a while. Showed up again, 2010 at 25 bucks. The stock is, I mean, well, it, this does the calculation for me. It's up 1400%, 1409 to be exact, 46 times on the top 20. So there you have it. That is how we do the best ETFs. We look at the stocks one last time. We're going to look at all of our ETFs. I'll give you a little summary over here. We got IVW. Uh, we got XLRE, CLOU, ARKK, and IBB for the best ETFs to buy for September. Once again, why you should listen to us, look at this performance for our past three months. And hey, again, this is for entertainment purposes only. This is not trading advice, but at the end of the day, you know, this is how we do it at Map Signals. We look for the juice. We look for the big money. If you like what you see, smash that like and subscribe button. Please leave your questions and comments. Help us get better and tell us what you'd like to see. In the meantime, you know, keep your heads up out there. September through December is setting up to be a nice time of year historically over the past 25 years. So let's get in shape to do it. Until next time, I will see you. Take care. Thanks a lot. Should I do a little... Uh...
little outro again. Uh, wait, where's my pick? Okay, let's do it. What do you think? Let's make it loungy. Had to hit a wrong note on the very last thing. Anyway, I will see you next time. Take care. Thank you for everything.